Hi, this is Frank Schaefer. A year before Donald Trump was running seriously for president, I did a video that had a very wide circulation called something like explaining the real Donald, and I saw him coming. And now I see something else coming. As someone who comes out of the religious right, who left the evangelical background, that contributed so much with my evangelist father, Francis Schaeffer, to building the religious right that then voted for Donald Trump some 40 years later. I've watched a whole arc of rise and decline of American politics ending in the debacle we call Trump, dovetailing now with COVID-19, the coronavirus. This feels like almost a biblical prophetic fate. It's too much to imagine a perfect storm of this magnitude. Now I want to say something that I think is necessary to say right now, even though it's going to sound premature to people. We're still in the middle of a Democratic primary between Bernie Sanders and Joe Biden. But Joe Biden is no longer just a choice for some Democrats who are more moderate or others who are more liberal or young or old, black and white. Joe Biden is a survival necessity now. If ever a time has called for a voice of moderation, a voice of compassion, a voice of age and experience, a voice of cooperation with others who believes not in the survival of the fittest but the survival of the friendliest, it is now. Before the coronavirus, Joe Biden was a choice and Bernie Sanders was a choice. Facing, digging out from what is going to be the most cataclysmic recession since the 1930s, we need someone who knows how government works, who has a proven track record of working with others and bringing people together, who can reach out not as an ideologue with a revolutionary agenda, but as someone who on a human level connects with the average American person. And that is Joe Biden. I voted for Elizabeth Warren. That's where my heart was. I wanted a first woman president, but now we are past that. It's not time for a statement candidacy. It is time for a candidacy that can get the job done. One joke you won't hear Republican lick spittle followers of Trump making this year is the old canard where they would say, someone will come to your door and knock on it and say, we're from the government and we're here to help you. Ha, 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 how did that work out for you? Of course, that always was a lie because Social Security, Medicare and Medicaid actually work fine. But that said, this year, the average Fox watching white, older American is gonna be on their knees begging for someone to knock on their door and say, I'm from the government, I'm here to help you. We are at a hard place. If Winston Churchill led Great Britain through World War II and confronted Hitler, he was right for that moment in terms of his character, a dominant, loud, obstreperous, self-assured male. Now we don't need that. We need a kind, wise, experienced person. And so, okay, maybe once in a while, Joe Biden has a linguistic flub. He hasn't recently. He's looked pretty goddamn presidential to me. But I'll take someone who gets their tongue twisters tangled once in a while, same way I do sometimes, who has a senior moment once in a while, same as I do sometimes, but who knows what they are doing, who has a track record, who can reach out and pull us together. Joe Biden is no longer a choice. Joe Biden is a necessity. And I don't speak just to Democrats, voting in the primary. I mean for all of us, for Fox-watching Republicans who must now have their confidence shaken by a president who a few weeks ago was calling the coronavirus a hoax, and now he says he always understood it was serious. Bullshit. It's time for all of us, Bernie Sanders fans, Elizabeth Warren fans like me, Republican voters and others to say the game has changed. We are now in survival mode. And who better than a calm, compassionate, seasoned, older, experienced man to lead us out of it? His name is Joe Biden. Let's get out there and work to make him president, sweep the Republicans out of office in a blue wave election, give him the means to repair the damage Trump has done to this country, now dwarfed 
compared to what coronavirus is about to do to us. We are past games, folks. Thank you. My name is Frank Schaefer.